Hey, I'm Park Madan, and today I'm here to inform you, the general public, about HABs. As I study oceanology, I feel that it's my role to tell people about HABs. The first step is realizing that there's actually a problem. A lot of times HABs are underestimated, and in this video, I'll be discussing why HABs are major problems. You see, the solution is there. It's just a matter of recognizing that a HAB is a problem in the first place. In this video, we'll be overviewing what a HAB is, future implications of what HABs can do, how we can solve them using technology, optical devices, and the biological structure of these HABs. Now, let's get started. At the heart of HABs are algae. Algae are eukaryotic photosynthesizing microorganisms. In short, they have membrane-bound organelles that feed off of light energy. As suggested by the name, harmful algal blooms occur when algae starts to grow at an exponential level that leads to the development of a HAB. With all this talk about HABs, what's so bad about them? Well, these large amounts of algae that collect together release extremely harmful toxins in the residing areas. This causes depletion of oxygen in the water and it also contaminates the air nearby. This has economic, environmental, and social impacts. Millions of fish die due to either being contaminated or by relocating due to the lack of oxygen. Humans consume the contaminated fish and they also breathe in the toxic air. This leads to respiratory issues and food-related illnesses. Fishermen, the hospitality industry, the tour tourism industry, and related affairs are also affected by an astounding $82 million in losses due to these HABs. Now that we have learned what HABs are and their effects, let's take a deeper look at the biology behind HABs. We'll start by investigating the biological structure of algae. Looking at the diagram, we see that algae has a lot of organelles that are similar to plants. One important one is chloroplast. The chloroplast is where the process of photosynthesis occurs and is how algae produces its food. Now this sounds awfully similar to plants. However, algae is actually classified as protist. This is due to some discrepancies and commonalities that were discovered, such as the fact that algae also gathers food opposed to solely producing it. Algae reproduces asexually, meaning it undergoes the process of mitosis. Cells undergo the many phases of mitosis where DNA is copied and eventually two identical daughter cells are produced. This is one of the reasons algae reproduces at an exponential rate. Halves occur naturally, however, in certain conditions halves are more likely to occur, and a lot are due to humans. High temperatures and runoff including nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen, are a few of the many conditions that trigger growth. Well, you may be wondering, what current methods are in place to prevent these HABs? And to tell you the truth, there are little to no methods currently in place. Part of the purpose of this PSA is to raise awareness to begin research on how to prevent these HABs. As individuals, we can try to prevent the conditions from occurring. However, HABs are bound to occur as demonstrated, HABs are a major problem, and it seems to be becoming even worse nowadays with the recent Lake Erie and Chile HABs. Please like, comment, and share this video as it will help inform the public. For more information on HABs and how optical devices are used to detect HABs, check out our website at hablabs.ca. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.